Rosenbaum and Grupo. I am the Associate Dean, College of Sciences and Mathematics at Arkansas State University. And welcome to the Arkansas Science Festival and the Chemistry Lab. And today we have Dr. Ben Rougeau, who's going to do, you, do a really fun experiment with you that you can do at home. Okay, guys. So, you know, we're always talking about rates. If you're going too fast in your car, you get a speeding ticket. They don't call it a rate, it just says you're speeding. And in science, we're always measuring what causes things to go faster and go slower. So we've done an experiment, and we're going to be using Alka-Seltzer tablets. And this is just, and it doesn't have to be Alka-Seltzer, it can be the Always Save brand, but that's what we had today. And we're going to see the effect that surface area has. Now if you look in front of me, I have three Alka-Seltzer tablets. One's whole, one's been crushed up, very, very fine, and the other one's been broken up into little pieces. Now when we put these in this water, and this is just tap water straight out of the tap, nothing special, it's going to produce a gas called carbon dioxide, the stuff you see in your soda, right? The one that reacts the fastest will be the one that stops producing gas the first. So Dr. Gripwolf, you'll come up here and grab Grab that one, okay. and then we're going to say one, two, three, and then we're just going to dump them in and see how it happens. Okay. One, two, three, go! Well, it looks like the powder's already just about it done. Does. Yeah. Now, here's our solid. It's still bubbling, and here's it's our. Still bubbling and then we've still got our little pieces going. Let's see who comes in second. Oh my gosh, it looks like the pieces are just about gone. The tablet's still hanging in there. And, oh, there it goes. The, the little crushed up pieces have all finished. And my tablet's still going here, so the powder reacted the fast. The pieces that broke up, were broken up, came in second. And the large tablet itself finished third. And this is all because of the surface area. So when you cut the little tablets up into small particles like the dust that you see outside, they're high surface area. Lots of room to react. The pieces, not as much surface area. Larger than the individual piece, and it had a very good reaction, but not as fast as the powder. And our tablet, well, it did the best it could. So you can do this at home. Now the one thing you can do that we didn't do is you can time it. And you good scientists repeat experiments, we call that multiple trials, to see if the data is consistent. Thanks a lot guys, and we're going to set up here and do another one here just in a minute, and we're going to change the temperature of the water. Thank you.